Hey guys, I had some questions and a couple requests to make a tutorial on the different releases of the Arduino Smoker and since I've just coming out with the 3.0 I figure it's a good time to do that. So things have changed a little bit. We're going to go over the hobby servo as well as the fan version. I went over the electric one a little bit and we'll also touch up on the sketch just a couple things you have to do if, whichever you decide to use so if you decide to use the hobby servo you'll need a it just runs on five volts i believe i don't think you want to use your arduino regulator you'll have to get your own to supply the higher amount of current and then you just have a signal wire attached to pin 13 for this one so going through the menu Mechanically, if you set your servo up to work how, however you want, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. There are some settings here for you to get it to set, to get your, uh, set up a window that'll work within the window of the damper that you made. So, jumping to this screen, the hobby servo already jumped over to 45 degrees. It overrides whatever it's being told to do at the time, something to keep in mind. Once we get these set, we'll take this menu out of the whole equation, and I'll show you how to do that here. Since once you have it set, it doesn't really matter. So, you can see I can adjust it here. It doesn't matter if it's at a high number or a low number if the two... It doesn't matter, uh, say... If yours is open when it's turned to the right, and mine is open when it's turned to the left, doesn't matter, the math will handle it. So you can set your open position, and then jump to your closed, set that one, and then just memorize those numbers. <clears throat> and, let's see here, right now it's in manual, and it'll work within that window that you set. Just wait, I'm making a video. I'll be done soon. So let's find... Should have had it up here. All right, hobby servo. Once you get those set, this screen number you can turn to eight and then it's gonna skip these two screen values. Currently I have it commented out. And then this screen four here is set to four and that skips the PID settings. Once you have those tuned to your smoker, no re no reason really to look at them anymore once you're happy with it but that'll be zero when you get it originally from the download and we're gonna go up here I might have skipped it right here this is one area I put all of the settings for convenience and we have our servo full open servo full closed and then you can just set your values in there upload it to the Arduino and then you're good to go. Now, currently on the sketch here I have the fan version uncommented. I'm going to unplug this servo. Get it out of the way. That is a mess. It looks like a mess, but there isn't much to it. I'm going to turn the voltage up for the fan. We'll hit upload, and I'll briefly talk about this. And as far as, <clears throat> give that a moment, there are two things if you want to run the servo you have to uncomment is going to be the my servo attach, and then down below, they're pretty hard to miss. I made it pretty easy to see. You're just going to take the whole chunk that you want and uncomment it. So right now we have the fan area uncommented. Same thing here, we have it set to 4 so we don't see the PID settings. And nothing else you have to do on this one. It's pretty simple. So... From boot up it's a little strange. It is running even though it said 0. So once it passes 30% it switches to pulse with modulation. So I don't know if you get a good idea of that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to 100. And there's 
higher speed. So what happens below 30% is then it runs full speed the fan and it'll do that within a time frame. Now it's shut off, it'll spend some time off and then give it some time and it'll turn back on. That's because some of these fans with the my daughter's trying to get in. I told her I was making a video earlier. She doesn't listen. Three years old. So being that some of them have the Hall effect sensors, they just don't do well with pulse width modulation at a really slow pace. So I added that in there and seems to work pretty well. Um, one thing else here. Come on, focus. One other thing I can mention, I went over this in the other video a little bit, is the thermistors I got on Amazon. That You can find them all over and I took note of it in the sketch here, but this is an Adafruit example code that I found off of their website and then I wrote a function for it in order to read more than one thermistor. But these values I found work really well with these thermistors and I actually have three of them set up and they were all within two degrees of each other easily, usually just one degree. So that works out really well. And if you have any other questions, go ahead ask me. If this isn't out already, it will be soon. I'll be getting it uploaded, just working on a couple last little bugs. Hope you enjoy.